Hi guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. In this video we're going to show you how to fix a cracked windshield washer reservoir. If it's cracked or if you punch a hole sometimes in a rack or sometimes they'll crack if you leave water in it and it freezes. This one is cracked here pretty bad and we're going to fix it now and show you how to do it instead of buying a new reservoir that could be pretty pricey. So you need to get a sandpaper, probably about 80 or 100 and just sand the area that needs to be fixed, sand it good, not to be smooth, it needs to be scratchy, it needs to be, it has that not shiny finish on it because we're going to apply epoxy and show you how to fix it and if it's not sanded it might not fix good and it will leak. Ok so what you're going to need is acetone to clean it with sandpaper, a piece of sandpaper, instant epoxy ok right here and you need something to stir the epoxy in a cap or something will work and we need that ghost part so we're going to show you how to fix it it's pretty inexpensive and it works every time so now after, after you sand it we need to clean it with the acetone so it doesn't have any oil or dust on the surface ok clean it good and after that we need to open the that ghost part right here or whatever you call that thing it is the one that you use if you get hurt or something and cut a little piece ok because this one will actually help the epoxy give it more strength and it will not crack ok you need just a little single piece not a fat one and now we need to open the epoxy and you need to just break the thing off ok now you just open it and we need to squeeze some amount, not the whole thing you, unless you have a big crack, big, big crack then you need a lot but in our case it's not as big so ok that, that should be plenty and then always pull a little bit to the back and put the lid on it so it doesn't go bad and you can reuse it for another project this thing is pre pretty inexpensive we got it for 3.99 I think and you can fix many not just one you can see we use just a little bit now you stir it and you need to use it fast because you have only 90 seconds with that brand so you mix it mix it good and now we need to apply some on the windshield washer reservoir right there and the thing will start smelling and it will start getting hot because it has a chemical reaction going on okay like that and now you need to put one piece on top like that so it gives it more strength and resistant to vibrations and you just add some more on top of it just like that And we're going to put one more layer just to make it stronger and apply the rest of it and cover it. We're going to let it sit, it depends on the epoxy you're using, this one it sets in 90 seconds and it can be handled in 30 minutes but it will be fully cured in 24 hours. So tomorrow we're going to put it back together, we're, we're just going to leave it overnight and let it sit like that and that thing works every time guys it saves you quite a bit of money because those could be pretty pricey if you cannot find them used new to the dealer they will cut your head off for that thing ok so that's the whole procedure guys thank you for watching us don't forget to subscribe and give us a like thank you guys for watching us